Hey, it's Foxtech, and in this video, we're going to clarify a common confusion that many iPhone users face finding the system preferences on their iPhones. You see, there's a reason why people may get a bit mixed up when it comes to system preferences and settings. So let's dive into the whole situation and explain it in detail. To begin with, the confusion arises from the similarity in terminology between system preferences and settings. Both are commonly used terms, and users might interchange them without realizing their subtle differences. Now, system preferences is a term primarily used on macOS. It's the place where Mac computer users go to access and customize various settings. However, when it comes to iPhones, we don't have system preferences. It's just called settings. On a Mac computer, system preferences is essentially the equivalent of settings on an iPhone. It offers a similar set of options to configure your computer based on your preferences. Interestingly, both system preferences on a Mac and settings on an iPhone have a similar icon, making them visually resemble each other. So while the terminology might differ, the core concept remains the same, accessing and adjusting your device's settings. One reason why users may unconsciously look for system preferences on their iPhones is their pre-existing mental model. If someone has only used a Mac computer and never an iPhone, they might naturally expect to find system preferences because that's what they are familiar with. It's all about past experiences influencing their actions. So if they had used system preferences on a Mac before, it's only natural for them to seek something similar on their iPhones. In summary, the confusion between system preferences and settings on iPhones can be explained by the similarity in terminology and the pre-existing mental models users have from their previous experiences with Mac computers. To clear things up once and for all, on iPhones, the equivalent of system preferences is simply settings. So when you need to access and customize your iPhone settings, you can easily find it under settings in the app list. That's it for today's video. I hope this explanation helped you understand the differences and avoid any future confusion. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Foxtech for more tech tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Until next time, peace.